I suggest starting every day saying, God, I am absolutely nothing without you. I can do nothing without you. I lean entirely on you today. I am desperate without your help. And really, no matter how many victories I've had in the past, that doesn't guarantee me a victory today if I'm not leaning on God today. Leaning on God yesterday doesn't help me today. I have to lean on God today. You have weaknesses. You have limitations. God has no limitations, but we have limitations. So you say, Lord, I'm weak in this area. I need your strength. I believe you're changing me every day. And I'm not going to spend today worrying about what I did wrong yesterday. I trust you to strengthen me in my weakness. That our weaknesses really don't have to make that much difference if we know how to let God fill our weaknesses with His power. We get too overwrought about what we can't do, and we don't get excited enough about what God can do. You see, no matter what you can't do or what I can't do, God can do. And miracles don't come in can'ts, they come in cans. Well, we get what we believe for. Let's start believing that the power of God is available to us to see miracles in our lives and in other people's lives. We're not going to have miracles if we don't believe for miracles. We have to believe in the miracle working power of God. When we go to God each day, the right attitude is, God, what is it you want me to do? What is my assignment? Not giving God orders, telling him what to do, how to do it. Rather, God, show me the best path. Show me how to overcome this problem. Show me how to accomplish my dreams. God wants us to rely on him, not some formula. Thinking, well, if I do this, and do that, and do the other, then God will bless me. If that's all it took, we wouldn't really need God. David understood this principle. In 2 Samuel 5, he had just been made king over Israel. When the Philistines heard about it, they came down to this valley to attack him. Now, David was a warrior. He had conquered a lot of armies. His nature was to attack. But here's why David was considered a man after God's own heart. Verse 19 says, David inquired of the Lord, shall I go attack the Philistines? Will you hand this enemy over to me? Notice his humility. He didn't say, I got this, been there, done that, no problem. He took time to inquire of the Lord. Before he went to battle, he got quiet and said, God, what do you want me to do? He was getting his daily direction. He didn't assume because something worked in the past, it was going to work right there. He asked a very significant question, God, will you hand this enemy over to me? Seems like that would be a given. He was just put in charge of the Israelites, God's chosen people. Surely God wouldn't let them be defeated. But the fact is, we're not supposed to fight every battle. David was smart enough to ask, am I supposed to attack? He was saying, God, if I go in there, are you going to go with me? He was showing his dependency on God. He recognized where his strength, his favor, his ability came from. And sometimes we assume if there's an obstacle, there's something trying to stop us, there's no question, get in there and go to battle. God is on our side. But a wiser approach is to say, God, what is your plan? How do you want me to respond to this opposition? Shall I attack or shall I be still and let you fight for me? If I go in, God, are you going to go with me? We've all fought battles where we didn't come out the way we thought. Maybe it was because we didn't inquire of the Lord. Verse 19 goes on to say, the Lord said to David, go for I will surely hand the Philistines over to you. Once he got clear direction, once he knew he had God's blessing, he went down there and defeated the Philistines. But if we would do like David and inquire of the Lord before we get into conflict, before we make big decisions, go to God for daily direction, 
it would save us a lot of heartache and pain. I've learned what God orders, he will pay for. But God is not obligated to bring victory to battles that we're not supposed to be in. And yes, God is merciful. Yes, he'll help us. But it's much better to inquire of the Lord before you make important decisions. He doesn't want you to get hooked on a formula. He wants you to be hooked on him. When you develop this habit of going to God for your daily bread, daily direction, saying, God, how do you want me to respond? How should I deal with this situation in my health, my finances? God, give me your wisdom, your insight, your favor. That's how God will lead you down the best path for your life. 